a Gangnam style. That's right, the Korean pop star Psy. But the video now has, wait for it, more than 400 million views. On his authentic, his original, his, his authentic, his original K-pop has become more and more popular. You know, people are just finding it and finding it on their own. And Gangnam style is any indication. Korean pop is poised to make a huge splash in America. And one showbiz boot camp where the lucky few get their shot at K-pop greatness. Those lucky enough to be discovered sign long-term contracts and spend years in a trainee program. <laughs> learning discipline. <laughs> learning discipline. Perfecting every pitch. Mastering every move. Lucky handful of successful trainees. They are cast in one of SM's signature supergroups. This perfectly packaged K-pop poised to become one of South Korea's biggest exports. I'm Akiko Fujita in Seoul. I'm Akiko Fujita in Seoul. And I believe the South Korean government even supported that industry. Well, it didn't really start with the government. Is using it as a tool to promote Korea, attract more tourists. And the industry brings in billions of dollars a year and the South Korean government's invested heavily in what is essentially a very exportable product. And they do everything with precision. So I wonder, how much are these stars' lives under the control of their management? Are they allowed to have girlfriends and boyfriends? feel that they might be less popular if they weren't available. The rules laid out for Korean stars have been questioned recently after the suspected suicide of the lead singer in Boy Band Shiny. How many hours did she have to train for? This is a huge win for BTS, but this is also a huge win for global music at large. Uh for global music at large. Uh, Americans are, are opening their eyes, opening their minds, opening their ears to uh, great music that doesn't necessarily need to be in English. Yes, has become the first K-pop group to top the US album charts. Group to top the US album charts. Now, K-pop invades the East Bay. Hundreds of fans lined up outside Oracle Arena where South Korean pop band BTS performs tonight. Amy, I've just seen nothing like this. It's pretty amazing, Jessica. Look behind me at this line. They say they've just been hanging out and getting to know everyone else in line while they wait. This is a Korean sensation BTS stepping up to the plate to address the UN and the world, telling people to believe their own convictions and voices. The seven member boy band joined UNICEF in creating the Love Myself campaign, building the belief that true love first begins with loving myself. The reactions speak for themselves. The reactions speak for themselves. Maybe K-pop can change the world after all. They are so devoted. They've come from all over the country. They've braved the rain. Look at this for days. But they say it's worth it. I hear their fans are pretty fantastic. Uh, uh, bulletproof Boy Scouts, yes. Well, if they are bulletproof, these fans, a weatherproof. I'm very surprised. Uh, you know, they all have tickets, so I don't know why they're even waiting in line. The South Korean pop group proved themselves popular with the Coachella crowd. Boy band BTS uh, appearing on SNL over the weekend. How big of a deal is it? Because I think SNL, it's a really coveted stage, and it's an important stage for a musician's career. Yeah, you know, we've seen artists who have been able to take their careers to the next level um, thanks to SNL. Uh, with Adele, this was before Rolling in the Deep, before her big breakout, mm. and she actually went on to win the Gram uh, two Grammys that year, right after that. Yeah. They share so much of their life with us. It's it's not just a let's connect on this one thing this one time and never speak of it again. It's let's talk about this over time and let's grow together as a family. We have so much trust into BTS and their art and their music that we has such a good message and teaches us such nice things. So we do donations, we take part of charities. Being such deserving artists um, rise up and as well express their music and spread it around the world and spread their message like this. Like being an army is everything to me. It's done a lot for me. How and why? Because the music's awesome. It's peppy. <laughs> it it's peppy. It makes you happy. It's upbeat. It's good stuff. Look, K-pop. It's an undeniable global force of nature. Global force of nature.
The groups build fandoms, and many of these fans embrace and celebrate a different culture and language. The community they feel with fellow fans, camping out with them, bonding them with them, leads to other friendships. And most of them said, I've made so many friends because of BTS. You do need permission to dance here. BTS was at the UN General Assembly to deliver a powerful address to today's youth. We had a million people tuned into that because they wanted to see BTS. We've never had anything, anything like that. Lost Generation is not Welcome Generation. I was so proud that I was crying. It definitely felt kind of like the, you know, the, like the light at the end of the tunnel. There incredible representatives of, of youth. A lot of BTS's music is poppy and catchy, but once you look into the lyrics, they talk about things like depression and anxiety. I feel like that message really told people that you're not alone. We might have made the UN a little more cool than <laughs> it used to be. He's, he's authentic, he's original. Learning discipline, perfecting every pitch. But this is also a huge win for global music at large. Yes, has become the first K-pop group to top the U.S. album charts. The reactions speak for themselves. <laughs> it's peppy. It makes you happy. K-pop. It's an undeniable global force of nature. 구독과 좋아요 눌러주세요.